What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're cooking with Chef Puff. Check it out. I got me a Chef Puff hat. All right. Um, today, we're going to be doing a, a taste, but it's too early to be doing a taste and a review on the, what is this thing called? The Bart, 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 Bartstein. I might be saying it wrong. It's a, a, a spirit maker. It uh, makes actually makes your... If you're having like a dinner party or something like that, you can use this machine and you can make automatically mix your drinks for you. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it today. All right, it's very simple and easy to clean. So let me lower the camera for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right. All right, as you can see, these are the bottles that it comes with. All right, these are 750 mil bottles, okay? So, but I, right now I have hot water in them. In the first slot, I'm going to put it in. Let me show you here. The first slot I'm going to put it in, it's going to be oh, let me move it over. Gin and rum. Okay. So, depends on what you like. You would put gin and rum, all right, in it. But I'll explain that all to you uh, very shortly. This one will be vodka. All right. Now you have tequila. Tequila. And you're going to have whiskey. Oh, it's not on correctly. That was pretty cool, boy. There we go. All right. This is just cleaning purposes. And right here is the bucket that holds the fresh water. All your spirits would go into these different bottles. And it also mixes itself with a little bit of water. All right. But I'll, sh I'll, I'll get everything. I'll show you everything very shortly. All right, so let me plug it in. All right, it's all plugged in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so she should be coming on now. Now I'm going to need a cup. I'm going to use any old kind of cup here. See, at the top... At the top, there's a settings button. There's a settings button. All right, I usually use my nail. If I can get it. Nope, I just put it to sleep, sorry. All right, get it back on. There we go. There we are. Now, if you buy the machine, oh, I forgot to put the cap on. Here's the, the cap for it, the cap on. If you first purchase the machine, there's a first, there's a first time use, first use. I already done that, but now I'm gonna do a clean, a rinse and clean. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit rinse and clean, and then all. And as you can see, She's gonna go to each one and clean. And basically that's how you clean a box steam uh, cocktail machine, okay? That's how you clean it. All right, like I said, right now there's only hot water in these here. I would use hot water, all right? I had the machine for a while but uh, we wasn't using it, so I decided to do a review on it. But here's the correct name spelling on it. All right, I might be butchering the name, but it's a good machine, I like it, you know? But like I said, we haven't used it for so long, uh, so I said, let me do a review on it. So that's how you clean the machine, and if you wanna like keep doing the cycle, you just, you gotta touch that, I, I like doing it with my nail. There it goes. 
My mail always gets it. All right, we can do first time use. Okay. All right, press the W. All right. Now, what it's doing is pulling the water from the tank and running it through the line also too. That's what it did. All right. So once again, we'll go to rinse and clean all. And this is just for cleaning purposes. To get the system all cleaned out. If you're gonna store it away, I, I would uh, recommend doing this too, of cleaning it. Because remember, spirits have uh, uh, sugar in it. All right. You cannot make a single, like a single shot or something. You cannot do it with this machine. It will not do it. All right. So I will be back to show you the pods and, and how do you make it in the different types of glasses. So I shall return. Welcome back with Cooking with Chef Puff. All right. I did put you the name. Uh, it's called Bartisium. Bartisium. All right. But what I have here, I have a 750 mil, no, 1.75 mil, mil um, bottles of, of um, rum. And the same thing, 1.75 liters of tequila and 1.75 of vodka and uh, whiskey brandy, 1.75. So what I'm gonna do now, I like to start from the back. So we're gonna need to do the rum. This is a very simple process. All right, just fill it up. Fill it up. All right, then you take the cap and you make sure it's sealed tightly. And then you a real, hold your finger on the tip there, turn it upside down, insert it. That one is done. Now, I'm going to do the whiskey. Same process, clean bottle. All right, let me get open here. All right. I'll be right back. I need to remove this stopper. All right. I like to remove the stopper because it pours much more quicker and get rid of these. All right. Once again, just fill it up. All right. All right. Now, if you buy this machine, um, drink responsible, responsibly, all right? Because people will overdo this here, all right? Because it's so easy access to it. But just drink responsibly. And when you have company come over, you can have so much fun with it. That's the whole thing of the machine itself, having fun. All right. So basically the same thing. This is tequila. All right. Fill it all the way up. Get out the way. Now tequila. Go all the way in the backpack here. And we have one more. Excuse me. One more. And once again, I'm gonna remove the stopper for easy pour. Fill it all the way up. All right. Now, I'm going to seal this one up. Oh, let me, let me um, mention this here. There's a duck bill on here. Make sure these duck bills are, they can open and close, okay? 
If they don't, they're probably stuck together. Just, just wash them with some warm water. That's all it takes. And then the vodka. Now this machine is actually ready to go. All right. But what I need to show you now, I need you to show you the different pods. Okay. So I'm going to lower the camera and then I'm going to turn it around so you can see the different pods. Okay. So these are the different pods. This is what they look like, like my ties. My ties. All right. And what it does is that this one, the boxes tell you it's made with rum, like the Mai Tais, okay? So basically, it has all the mixtures in it. You shake it up, it has all the mixtures in it, and you insert it into the machine. But I'm not going to insert it into the machine. I am, but I'm going to make me a mocktail. What is a mocktail, you ask? A mocktail is non-alcoholic, all right? It's a non-alcoholic, but it gives you the flavors, but I will not be using... Uh, any alcohol, all right? So, then you have whiskey sours, all right? Then you have old fashioned. Then you have Amarado sour. And you have, up oh, spiced coffee. And then you have pomegranate margaritas, all right? It also tells you what glass to use. You can even see it on the box. Uh, a Manhattan, Long Island iced teas, apple pie, and penicillin, all right? So those are the different drinks that you can make, all right? So I am going to have, uh, I think I'm gonna have an amaretto sour. Okay, definitely gonna have an amaretto sour. I'm gonna have to close these boxes back up, so bear with me, please. All right, and I'll show you what I mean by um, the mocktail. Give me one minute. Yeah, it's very hard to do with one hand. All right, give me one second. All right, bear with me, please. Let me turn it around. Let me get the height up here. All right. So, what we're going to do now. We are going to actually make a drink. But, like I said, we're going to make a mocktail. So, give me one second. I'm going to need to get some ice. So I'll be right back. Come back, everybody. Okay. I got my crushed ice in a glass here. I got my amaretto sour. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna open it up. You see, this barcode, if I was making a drink, it would tell, this barcode tells which one, which spirit to use, all right? But today I'm making a mocktail, and I'll explain to you. That's the wrong way. And you close it up. And when you close it up, if you can see, it says, uh, place in a low ball glass with ice under the, under the dispenser. Then you would hit next. And you see it says mocktail, light, regular, or strong. I'm going for a mocktail and mix. There it is. And that's a mocktail. Now remember, this has no spirit, no alcohol in it. It's just uh, the mixture, all right? 
Let it finish doing what it's doing, it's thing. All right. All right, now I'm gonna set the camera down here. Set the camera down. All right, so. I'm gonna need a little spoon here. Nice little stir. Oh, that is so refreshing. This is so, ooh, this is so refreshing. It's good. This is, um, oh, I forgot what this is called. Amaretto, Amaretto, Amaretto. But the mix is really, really delicious. But remember, there's no alcohol in this. All right, no alcohol. Well, if you, if you do purchase the, this machine, um, drink responsible. And I purchased this machine myself, okay? Uh, nobody uh, I'll sent it to me. I purchased it on my own, all right? But I'm going to give a real, a real review on it, and it's really good. It's really a good machine. That's my review. I give this one a thumbs up, all right? There's different types of machines out there, but I can only stand by this one here, all right? So, um, you, I, you can also buy the different glassware, which we have. We got the highball glasses, you know, we got the margarita glasses, okay? And we got, basically, we got the low ball glasses, all right? And also, what I do want to mention here is that they have a book, a book. And inside this book, you can purchase by purchasing these different cocktails all right it tells you what it's all about and you can actually go to amazon or go directly to the company and subscribe to get them delivered like i don't know once a month or so and so like that how many you want you know but it's so many different kinds here that is nice all right so once again i'm going to butcher the name again it's a uh, batisium Premium Cocktail On Demand. That's what it's called. The, uh, Bartisium Premium Cocktail On Demand. All right. If you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, I would really appreciate it. It helps my videos uh, to make more videos like this also too with my cooking videos. And I would really appreciate it. And y'all guys have a wonderful day.